This is gonna look spectacular. All right, here we go. Ooh, ooh. Oh no. Oh, this is incredible. Oh, the hammer, you can see the hammer. There it is. Ooh. Oh, look what just shot out the side. Oh, those are heavy pe- Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait! What? We're gonna click the button. Okay, click. Ooh, I don't think this is gonna work. That building's a little too wide. Uh-oh! Hello, YouTube. Moto Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Brick Rigs. And yes, folks, we're back once again, and we are back with Mr. Random Rob. And today, we're going to be playing with some very awesome creations. You're seeing the first creation behind us here, and it's called the Clap. Or the Clapper. Or something. I, I don't know what happened. Actually, I think I know what happens with this, and I think it's going to be spectacular, but... Yeah, this is made by uh, ECA. We've covered a couple of his creations before. And normally he's kind of like a uh, an airplane builder, an aircraft builder, and a military creator. But he's got something very awesome here that we're going to check out. So, anyways, we're going to be doing some awesome creations. All the creations will be linked down in the description if you want to download anything that you see in this episode. So go support those workshop creators. And if you're enjoying Brick Rigs on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And comment below with what you want to see Random Rob do next. All right, so the creation is actually called Slap. I don't know where I got clap from. I guess slap, clap. I mean, it's two arms coming down and they're going to hit together. So it's by ECA001. And yes, we're going to crush something with this now. We're gonna start off, we'll start off small. Actually, I don't know if that's small. Is this small? Uh, we got an office building here. Oh yeah, that, no. Yeah, yeah, sure, this will work. Uh, can I fit this in here? Uh, will this fit inside of this? I don't know if this will or not. Oh, I got an idea. So we'll, we'll do, we'll do this. Okay, that worked. And then we'll do, we'll do this. So this will lower down on, oh no. Okay, that worked. Actually, we're good. We're good. Okay, so the slap is in a uh, god mode right now. I don't think this... Wait, how does this work? Is there thrusters? Oh, no, this is all done with gravity. So, uh, what we're gonna do here... We're gonna click the button. Okay, click. <gasps> oh, I don't think this is gonna work. That building's a little too wide. Uh oh Oh, yes! What the heck is that made out of? And how did that work? Man! That was actually really satisfying to see in full speed. I like that. I kind of want to do it in slow mo now. I did not expect those hands to be able to crush. They must be made out of a really, really heavy material. Now, if you recall, a couple episodes ago, he had a big... It was just like a big flat slab that would fall down. And, of course, we uh, we crushed Rob with it. But, yeah, I think that's basically the same material here. Uh, let's do that one more time, except for in slow mo. All right, so we're ready to go here with the slow motion round. Uh, let's go ahead, go slow down. All right, click that. Uh, oh, this might take a little bit. Uh, let's go fast motion. Uh, let's tip in slow mo. Here we go. So it appears that the uh, the arm itself rips into it first. So here it goes. Oh, that is incredibly satisfying to see. And then here comes the big arm here, or the big slapping hand. Oh, it just goes right through it. Oh, that is so cool looking. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it's split it in half. Hold on, let's go. Okay, full speed. Dang. That is awesome. I really like this. You know what we got to do next? We got to crush Rob with this. Wait, these completely close. Yeah, these will close together. I think it's just getting stopped. Uh, by the base of it here. Yeah, this is totally gonna work. All right, so set this to the side and let's go get Rob. Oh, this looks terrible. You know, the other day we hit him with a big hammer and now we're about to hit him with this. All right, this is Rob's turn. He's a little laggy. He's pretty close to centered. There we go. Uh, waiting for it. Waiting for it. Come on, pick up some speed here. Oh, where's this gonna hit Rob at? Actually, this might hit him in the legs. Or the groin, I'm not really sure. No, this is gonna hit him really low. This is gonna be the shin. Oh, here we go. It's gonna hit Rob. <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Whoa, that was 
was... Wow. Oh, no. Oh, that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Oh, the only thing that's left are Rob's arms. Oh, my. Look what it did to the slap. What the heck? It's flying. Oh, there goes pieces of Rob. That was amazing. That doesn't... Uh-oh. Wait a minute. What's this doing? What is this? Do oh, what is it doing? Oh, okay. It's good. That thing is incredibly heavy. Oh, there's Rob's arm. There's Rob's other arm. And the rest of Rob disappeared. That is an awesome creation. Yeah, if you guys have any other ideas for this one, uh, let me know down in the comment section below. And we might pull this thing back out. But anyways, I think it's time to move on to the next creation. All right, so we have a very cool creation here. This is Thor's hammer. Of course, when I think of Thor, I always think of the Avengers. And I'm so excited to see the new movie. Uh, too bad we have to wait just a little bit to get to that. But anyways, this is made by MNB, and MNB is an amazing creator. He's been lighting the workshop on fire, and this is a pretty basic creation. Now, the problem is, and look down there in the bottom left, uh, this little piece here is over a thousand bricks, and let's pull it up again. It is 18 million tons of hammer, so he's using a, a very heavy material, and I'm assuming these are a bunch of pieces kind of in each other? <laughs> Use God Mode for hammer time and remove God Mode to let it explode on impact. It's a feature, not a bug. Alright, let's spawn it. Alright, this is Thor's hammer, so there are no explosives in this. This is purely based on weight. So what happens when we drop this? Let's drop it on the city real quick. I don't... Will it actually smash a building even though it's really heavy? Oh, let's see what happens here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're gonna hit the elevator. Up. Oh. Ooh. Oh, look what just shot out the side. Oh, those are heavy pe- Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait! What? What? What just happened? That's what happens when Thor's hammer explodes? Okay, that's, uh... That's a thing. I got a plan for this. No, don't do it again. Don't do it again. No, I can't afford this. My computer is not liking this. Oh, this is amazing. These are all full pieces that are shooting out of it. Okay, let's go God mode. Okay, just leave it here. All right, so I want to do two tests real quick with the Thor's hammer. First off, I want to throw this thing in the city and see what happens because it explodes in a million pieces and it's fantastic. So let's go ahead and go to there. Drop that. Now, here we go. Wait, what? It didn't- Oh, it exploded! There it goes! Alright, here it goes! It's gonna start shooting off all those little pieces! Does that actually take down buildings, or does, does that just look amazing? I think it just looks amazing! Oh, that's gonna be like a thousand of these big squares flying through the air. Oh no, it keeps coming! <laughs> you know, oddly enough, it's not actually destroying buildings, it's just shooting all out the top. Oh, I love this creation. This might be in my top ten. A brick rig's awesomeness. Up, oh, still going. What if we let the train hit this? Oh, it did it again! What the heck? It was another explosion. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, we finally took down a building. That's insane. Look at the pieces going everywhere. It's the spread on this. Oh, folks, we're gonna be bringing this thing back out here very soon. All right, so we've done this. Let's, uh, oh, there's the handle. Let's let it get hit by the train real quick. I mean, that is spectacular. It's everywhere, too. All right, so we gotta let this thing take on the train. Will Thor's hammer actually stop it? I doubt it, but this is gonna look spectacular. All right, here we go. Uh, oh, oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh! What the heck? Oh, I think they all shot out, huh? Oh, there goes Bob. <laughs> the train is still superior to everything. Even Thor's hammer can't take out the train. That was ridiculous looking. Hold on, where did uh, where'd Bob end up? Look at this. This is where Bob is. There's the city map. Bob, you got some. Di oh yeah, we're going off the map. Yeah, Bob got some distance there. That is a. Uh, that's great. Alright, so if you remember a couple episodes ago, we actually played with this tower. This is by Barbarian. Uh, it's the Pepe's Phoenix Tower. Now, this is a new version of that. 
uh, same tower except for this one is this one's taller oh yeah this one's definitely taller so we're not gonna you know we actually probably could do another tower survival when we drop this on top of it we'll stand down in one of the floors that could be cool but yeah uh, we did this it was a couple episodes ago let's go ahead and lift this up uh, by the way if you missed the last episode uh, burnout Bob did make a return and we did a pretty epic crash challenge so if you missed that I'm pretty sure that's gonna be in the description all right, let's raise this up. Oh, that raised up really easy. Come on, slow it down. Slow it down. Waiting for it to click. There we go. All right, let's uh, observe it real quick. Oh, that is tall. What's up at the top of this? Hold on. Dude, look at this new floor. They've got balconies on them. That is awesome. Hold on, let's go in here real quick. Okay, still got the bathrooms on every other floor. Uh, what's the top like? Oh, we got a helipad up here. And I'm pretty sure I can fold that out too with A and D, so it's got an antenna on top. Oh, this is kind of weird going through that. Oh man, so it's like a penthouse up here. What's this over here? Okay, it's still the bathrooms, and you can go all the way down. Oh, this is amazing. Alright, so let's make sure this is not in God mode, so we'll take this off of God mode. There we go. We'll take Bob off of God mode. I noticed, uh, I kept saying tower survival the past couple episodes, and I realized that god, uh, god mode was enabled on Bob, and I was like, oh, I wouldn't have died during any of these challenges because of, uh, Bob was in god mode, so we'll make sure we turn that off if we want to do one of these. But yeah, let's, uh, drop the hammer. Alright, Thor's hammer versus the tower. We're gonna do it outside first, and then we'll see how this goes, and we'll see if we want to actually hop inside the tower. Uh, but yes, let's do this. Slow it down. Okay, we are off target just a little bit. Let's go out here. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, this is going to be cool. All right, let's get in position. How many floors do you think this is going to go through? Place your bets now. I'm going to say maybe 20-ish. I hope it really gets to the bottom. Here we go. Oh, boy. And... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, is it really cra- It's crashing through all the floors. Look at it. It's floor by floor by floor. Oh, no. Hold on. We can get a better view of it on this side. Is it still going through? Oh, it is filling all the floors. It's still going. The, ha the hammer's still going. Oh, it's actually- It shattered the base, too. Oh, this tower is going down. This might be the quickest we've ever taken this tower down, Han. Is it still moving through the floors? Or has it stopped? Looking for... Oh, this is a slideshow. No, look at it! It's still plowing through floors! It's still going! Alright, well, Maya, uh, that definitely made it more than a... Uh, it's gonna make it more than 20, for sure. If it hadn't already done that. Oh, this is just a... Uh, this looks like a blender of just stuff in here. Bricks, floors... Oh, and the tower's actually going down. Hold on. It might break out the side of it. Because the tower's leaning right now. I'm trying to actually spot the hammer. Where is it at? Oh, there it is. I can see the handle of it. Uh, try to give you guys a better view. No, it's going out the side. Yeah, I can see the handle of it. Oh, wow. You know, if the tower would have actually stayed up, that would have went through every floor. It went through probably about almost half of the tower. Uh, but the whole fact the tower is actually crashing down, it's right there. You can see it. And it's about to pop out. Oh, and it just hit the ground. Oh, oh, that is ridiculous. So it made it, is, was there two red sections? Or it was a light red section, then a dark red section. And this is unbelievable. Let's go full speed. Oh, man. Man, I really want to stand inside of this one that goes off. That was incredible. I love being able to glitch stuff into other objects like that. And I don't know if this is a relatively new thing with some of the materials. Uh, but I know it is with the scalable bricks because obviously those are really big pieces. But yeah, some of the things the update has done for brick rigs. It's just phenomenal. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead, set that up again. And I want to set inside of that when it goes off. So I'm going to say we're going to set about midways in the uh, dark red section at the top. There's going to be a light red section that for sure is going to get annihilated. But we'll set in the other one. 
All right, the Phoenix Tower is back up. We are ready to jump back into the hammer real quick. So let's go ahead and do that. I would say let's do some full speed, but I like the slow speed uh, when we're doing the tower survival sometimes because it just makes it so much more epic because this thing's going to crash through the floors really quick. And I want to be able to actually enjoy being in the tower. So, hmm, about right, probably right here. All right, I'm ready to go, so let's make sure we're in slow-mo. Drop the hammer. Hammer looks like it's going to hit. Oh, this is going to be kind of scary because it's going to take a second for it to get down. Let's see. Uh, I actually got to make sure I'm hopped out of it. There we go. Oh, it's so laggy looking at the hammer for some reason. Uh, oh, Bob was killed. All right, uh, let's go. Let's go right here. All right, so Bob's here. Speed up time just a second. Okay, time slowed down. All right, so this is impending doom. Bob is on the tower, and a hammer's about to hit right above us. I think we're... Ooh, I wonder if the bathroom's safe. Oh, we're in slow-mo. Come on, Bob. Oh. You can hear it. Oh, it's hitting. Oh. Oh, it's coming down. Uh-oh. Oh, you can see pieces outside the window. Oh, it's going to break through. Oh, Bob. Come on, walk back over to the corner. Oh, this sounds terrible. Oh, look at the pieces. Oh, oh, the roof's caving in. The roof's caving in. Oh, there's the hammer. Oh, the hammer. Are we going to survive this? The hammer just... Oh, no, Bob died. Bob died. The hammer went... Actually, I think we got hit by the hammer. Oh, look at him. You can see Bob going down. There's poor Bob. Bob didn't make this tower survival. Hold on, let's back off real quick. Did it take the same... Oh, it ripped off the top of it this time. What was that explosion? I just heard an explosion. Oh, a piece of the building actually hit one of the tanks at the airport. Oh, that is sweet. All right, well, Bob... You know, I wonder if we would have been a little bit more on the side if Bob would have survived that. Because uh, he actually... I think I got hit by the hammer. <laughs> oh, the hammer really made it far this time. Look at it. It's actually in the light uh, red part. It might make it to the purple. Is that purple or pink? I don't know. I think it's more pink. All right, there it is. Hammer is trying to spot the handle or something from it. I mean, obviously it's there because it's crashing through. Oh, it just spit out the side. Oh, this is incredible looking. Hold on, let's actually, let's let Bob stand below this. Oh, what if you were just like down here with this? Hold on, let's let Bob stand under this. We are going to get Bob crushed by a falling tower. This is so dramatic looking. Like, I feel like we have to have some epic music going on. Oh, this is incredible. Oh, the hammer. You can see the hammer. There it is. Oh, no. Can we land in one of the little cracks? All right, we're about to go full speed. Full speed. Oh, here comes. Oh. oh. Oh, what's that sound? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, no. Yep, Bob got crushed. You know, there for a second, I thought we were going to make it. This is the coolest thing I think we've ever done. Like, this is up there on the list of my favorite things that we've done in Brick Rigs. And this is incredible. Like, the Thor's hammer, you are going to see more of that, folks. Because, I mean, there's so many things we can do with it. So many things that we can crush. I know somebody's already like, hey, let's crush Rob. We've already seen Rob get crushed from above. So I'm not going to quite do that. All right, so for our next creation here, we are checking out the Wave Simulator. This is by MNB. This is a large wave simulator. Just put it in God mode and throw stuff in it. That sounds simple enough. Now, I did see that, uh, I think Gray got a hold of this creation. I was browsing through my YouTubes, or the YouTubes, and I saw it, and I was like, hey, that looks pretty cool, so I'm gonna go ahead and play with it. So, yeah, we're gonna share the love here. Now, what is the Wave Simulator? Now, what does this do, or how does this work? I don't understand. This is only a thousand bricks, but it is using scalable blocks. You know, this kind of reminds me of the little bridge in the off-road challenge we did last weekend. There was a little drawbridge. Oh, not a drawbridge, just like a little, uh, a wooden bridge like this. So, how are they attaching that? Oh, they're like little actuator pieces. Or like little clips. Okay. So, you know what we should test first? Can Bob stand on this? Hold on, can I stand? Okay. So what happens when Bob jumps into the wave simulator? This thing looks crazy. Oh, this is neat. All right, here we go. Hop in. Oh, wait. Is Bob fat? No, Bob ain't that heavy, is he? <laughs> it's like we made an indention in the wave. 
The other wave's going way crazier than this one is now. Oh, oh no, Bob just went through the wave. Okay. All right, well, Bob might be a bit of a chunky boy, so we need to throw some other stuff in here. So I've got limitless possibilities on what we can throw in there. I guess we should start off with something big. Uh, let's throw a uh, let's throw a nuke in there. All right, so the little wave pool is going on here. What we're going to do, we're actually going to drop a cluster of nukes in here. Now, I have a, a cluster by Kylos Wireless. We used it on a tower not too long ago. It's called the Death from Above. So I think that's about right. All right, here we go. Uh-oh. Oh, some of the little pieces are already hitting. Uh, is this going to hit the wave table? Oh, yeah, this is going to be perfect. All right, so the wave table uh, does some freaky stuff in slow-mo. I'm noticing this. Uh, we're okay. Still okay. Oh, it's going to hit to the side of it. This still should be fine. This is going to be perfectly fine. It's going to eat the big nuke. All right, here we go. Oh, this sounds terrible. All right, and oh, 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 the wave table. Look at it move. That's incredible. All right, so it's set into uh, God mode, obviously, but it still does affect the wave. That was violent. Wow. Huh. That's awesome. All right, so there are many types of uh, Bob creations on the workshop, but Waffle Racer created something called the Stadium Jam. Now, this is a bunch of Bobs. But yes, this is uh, way too many bobs. This is almost 3,400 blocks worth of bob here. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and spawn this. That looks crazy. It looks like a weird bob army. They're just like all lined up and in formation. What the heck? That's cool. All right, so we got the wave table here. This is 3,000 bricks in this little compact area. Let's go ahead, drop the bobs. There we go. Uh, Slow-mo it. Oh, yeah, buddy. Here come the bobs. Ooh. Oh, dude. I've never seen this many bobs fly in the air before. They got some di- Uh-oh. I was saying they have some distance. I think we broke it. Oh, no, we broke the- Oh, we're gonna crash the game here. This is gonna have to snap- Wait. Is God mode on? Okay, hold on, let's swap over. Let's go swap creation. Oh, that's what's wrong. We broke it. I, I had a god mode. I had to respawn this, and yeah. Well, now you know what it looks like when it breaks. Okay, full speed. Dude, those bobs made it really high in the air. All right, take two. It's in god mode now. Let's go ahead and go. Uh, uh, full speed. Here come the bobs. Wait, what? Wait, what? They went through it that time. Oh, that is a mess. Oh, let's drop him again. The wave table wasn't activated there for a second. Let's go up. Here we go. Oh, there they go. Oh, they hit that time. Oh, it's just a pile of them. Oh, the upstroke. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's raining, Bob. Oh, that's incredible. That is incredible. All right. I don't know. If, does it get better than that this episode? We've had an absolutely fantastic episode here of Destruction. I guess the last thing to do with this, somebody's going to ask me to drop some sort of heavy object or something like a building in there. So I think that's how we're going to end this. All right, this is probably going to be a terrible idea. We're going to drop the uh, Pepe's legal office in there. Now, you're probably asking yourself, well, why don't you drop the tower? Uh, the tower, when you move it, will spawn back into that uh, pre-transformed mode, and that's just not going to work. So... We're gonna have to uh, lower the uh, lower the expectations. Even though this building's fantastic and has a great interior, uh, this is gonna be satisfying either way. So wave tables going. All right, there we go. Say goodbye to Pepe's legal team. Oh, this is you know I want to do this in slow mo because this is gonna be incredible, and I want to savor every moment of this. Here we go, Pepe's legal team versus the wave machine. Here we go. Oh boy, waiting for it to touch. Uh, what's gonna happen? Is this gonna go through? Uh-oh. Oh, it caught it! Oh, it's heavy! Oh, wait. Wait, oh, it's gonna fling it! Hold on, full speed! Oh, that is so awesome! How in the heck can it lift that? I for sure thought there for a second that it was actually just gonna crash down. Oh, it's coming- oh, it's coming back. Alright, here it goes. Here it goes. Oh, that is such a strong building, but the wave table, it's trying its best. 
It's gonna eat it here. Hold on, let's get a view down. Uh oh. Oh no, the game started to lag. Oh, we broke something, folks. Uh oh. Uh oh. I heard an explosion. Oh, where's it going? Oh, the wave table's eating it now. Uh oh. Okay, the Pepe's office is in half. Oh, it's done. It is completely done. Oh, that's cool. Woo! Oh, I love destruction. I probably love it a little too much. I should probably get that checked. Oh, boy. That's, yeah. It's not going to get any better here, folks. But anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Brick Rigs. If you have any suggestions for future Brick Rigs episodes, comment below. If you have any creations, anything you want to share with me, always join the Discord. It's uh, down in the description. We kind of do some uh, Brick Rigs discussions over there. So if you want to join that, that will be linked down below. Remember, all the creations are down below, too. But yeah, comment below. We'll be returning with some more Brick Rigs real soon. And we will see you guys next time on Brick Rigs. That was awesome. <laughs>